Dear friends, today we are going to start the study of second chapter that is reproduction in lower and higher animals. All of you are known, all living organisms show different life activities and we people have studied about that different life activities in our 11th class such as growth, development, irritability, reproduction, etc. etc. But out of all these different life activities, reproduction is considered as most fundamental characteristic feature shown by living organism. It means the reproduction is considered as most essential and most fundamental basic characteristic feature shown by living organism. Now what is reproduction? What does it mean? What is the significance, importance of reproduction? What is the need of reproduction? That everything we have studied in our previous chapter, in our first chapter, that is reproduction in lower and higher plants. Not only this, but we have also studied about the reproduction, concept of reproduction in our 11th class. But then and then, here, once again, I am going to talk little bit about the term reproduction. Arthat, reproduction manje kai? Reproduction chi garas kai? Reproduction sajiv ka dakhota? Ya sagraya ushti apad makche chapter madhe shikhlo hai. कि मौना इयत्ता अकरावी मध्ये सुद्धा आपण याचा अभ्यास केलेला आहे एंड देयरफॉर आई से द टर्म रिप्रोडक्शन इट्स मीनिंग इट्स डेफिनेशन इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस एटसेट्रा इज नॉट न्यू बट लेट अस टॉक वंस अगेन वी नो दैट रिप्रोडक्शन इट कैन बी डिफाइंड बाय डिफरेंट वेज रिप्रोडक्शन ची आपण वेगवेगळ्या पद्धतीने व्याख्या करू शकतो वेरी सिंपल रिप्रोडक्शन it is the natural tendency shown by living organisms by which the new young ones, new individuals or the individuals of new generations are produced by pre-existing ones. Or in another words, reproduction is the process in which new young ones are born, new young ones are produced by the parent ones which show great similarity with the top parents with the top pre-existing individuals. Artha, Purvi Astitvat Astelia Sajivan Pasu, Purcha Piditil, Navya Piditil, Apatya Jarmala Eno, Yala Matlazata, Prajanan, Yala Matlazata, Reproduction. So, reproduction, it is the natural tendency shown by living organism. It is the natural tendency shown by living organisms in which the new young ones or individuals of new generations are born. Individuals of new generations are born. New generation are produced are produced by pre-existing individual or parent ones pre-existing individuals or parent individuals now what is the need of reproduction what is the significance of reproduction we have already discussed in detail about the significance importance or need of reproduction in our previous chapter then and then let us talk briefly first of all we can say that reproduction is necessary reproduction is necessary for the continuation or perpetuation continuation or perpetuation of species continuation or perpetuation of any particular species or individuals belonging to any particular species or in another words reproduction is necessary for the continuation of race of 
इंडिव्हिज्युअल बिलॉंगिंग टू एनी पर्टिक्युलर स्पेशीज एखाद्या विशिष्ट जातीच्या सजीवांचा वंश पुढे टिकून राहावा पुढे चालत राहावा ती प्रजाती पुढे कंटिन्यू व्हावी यासाठी प्रजननाची आवश्यकता आहे रिप्रोडक्शन रिप्रोडक्शन इट हॅल्प्स टू इन्क्रीज द साईज ऑफ पॉप्युलेशन इट हॅल्प्स टू इन्क्रीज द साईज ऑफ पॉप्युलेशन अर्थात त्या विशिष्ट जातीतील सजीवांचं जे पॉप्युलेशन आहे त्यांचा जो समूह आहे त्याची साईज वाढवण्याचं काम या ठिकाणी रिप्रोडक्शनच्या माध्यमातून होतं ऑल्सो वी कॅन से दॅट रिप्रोडक्शन इट रिप्लेस इट रिप्लेस द लॉस्ट इंडिव्हिज्युअल इट रिप्लेस द लॉस्ट इंडिव्हिज्युअल लॉस्ट इंडिव्हिज्युअल्स फ्रॉम द पॉप्युलेशन वे नो दॅट द इंडिव्हिज्युअल कॅन बी लॉस्ट फ्रॉम एनी पर्टिक्युलर पॉप्युलेशन आय दर बाय डेथ ऑर मे बी बाय इ मायग्रेशन इ मायग्रेशन मीन्स टू गो अवे टू गो आउट ऑफ देअर नॅचरल पॉप्युलेशन अर्थात डेथ झाल्यामुळे किंवा इ मायग्रेशन झाल्यामुळे ते पॉप्युलेशन सोडून दुसरीकडे काही सजीव गेल्यामुळे त्याची जागा नवीन इंडिव्हिज्युअल्स घेत असतात of course the born by the process of reproduction also we can say that the reproduction especially sexual reproduction it helps sexual reproduction it helps for the development of variation development of variation in the new individual you know variation means development of certain new characters that the parent ones arthat sexual reproduction mule jalmala alelya navin apatyan madhe kai tari navin gundharma nirman hotat janna apan variations manto and we we know that variation variations acts as a raw material for evolution arthat variation mule उत्क्रांती या प्रक्रियेला त्या ठिकाणी मदत होत असते किंवा त्या ठिकाणी उत्क्रांती ही शक्य असते सो हिअर व्हेरी ब्रीफली आय हॅव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द सिग्निफिकन्स ऑर नीड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन अँड ऑलरेडी वी हॅव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन नाव वी हॅव टू स्टडी अबाउट द डिफरंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन सी अमंग ॲनिमल्स forms of reproduction seen among animals so let us talk about the forms of reproduction the animals reproduce by variety of different ways animals reproduce by variety of different ways there are so many different types and subtypes of reproduction seen among animals seen among animals but all those different types all those different varieties are broadly divided into two types we know the first one is called asexual reproduction and second sexual reproduction first sexual asexual reproduction and second sexual reproduction in our today's lecture we are going to study only about asexual method of reproduction in animals now all of you are aware what are the basic differences between asexual and sexual reproduction let us start the study of asexual reproduction in animals now what does it mean you all are known asexual reproduction marathi madhyam alaingik prajanan very simple name itself indicates asexual reproduction is a type of reproduction in which sexes are not involved sexes are not involved it means the male and female individuals are not involved or asexual reproduction is a type of reproduction 
in which six cells six cells or we can say gametes are not involved gametes are not involved so it is called asexual reproduction but we can say that asexual reproduction is a type of reproduction in which meiosis in which meiosis and syngamy does not occur try to understand and listen this sentence again what is asexual reproduction asexual reproduction is a type of reproduction in which meiosis and syngamy does not occur या ठिकाणी मी फळ्यावर लिहितोय असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन मध्ये मिओसिस होत नाही मिओसिस होत नाही ऍज वेल ऍज आय सेड देयर इज नो सिंगॅमी देयर इज नो सिंगॅमी आता याचा अर्थ काय होतो पहिल्यांदी मी असं म्हटलं की इन असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन मिओसिस डज नॉट ऑकर मिओसिस डज नॉट टेक प्लेस all of you are known what is meiosis you know that meiosis it is a type of cell division it is also known as reduction division and we know during meiosis the diploid parent cell produces four haploid daughter cell it means during meiosis we know the chromosomal number reduces to half all the details about the meiosis we have studied in 11 while studying the chapter cell division aplyala maithe ki meiosis hot astanna ji parent cell ahe te parent cell cha vibhajan hun char daughter cells taya hota ani ta daughter cells madhe gunasutranchi sankhya chromosomal number ha nimma hot asto in animals the meiosis takes place only during the process of gametogenesis only during the process of gametogenesis that is process of formation of gametes manje pranyamade meiosis fakt gametes tayar hot astannas hot gametogenesis gametes tayar hotannas hot gametes manje aplyala maithe hai male gamete that is sperm or spermatozoon and female gamete that is egg cell egg cell andapeshi asa apan manhuya मग या ठिकाणी मी म्हटलं की इन असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन मिओसिस डज नॉट ऑकर मिओसिस डज नॉट ऑकर मीन्स वॉट देर इज नो गॅमेटोजेनेसिस देर इज नो गॅमेट फॉर्मेशन देर इज नो गॅमेटोजेनेसिस ऍज वेल ऍज देर इज नो सिन गॅमी ऑल ऑफ यू आर नोन हिअर सिन दिस वर्ड स्टँड फॉर फ्युजन युनियन मिक्सिंग अँड गॅमी स्टँड फॉर वी कॅन से गॅमेट्स now here syngamy means fertilization that is union of gametes and zygote formation it means in asexual reproduction there is neither gametogenesis nor fertilization manje asexual reproduction madhe gametes pan taiyar hot nahi arthat fertilization hot nahi zygote taiyar hot nahi hes me adhi tumhala sangit आता इन असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ऍज गॅमेट्स आर नॉट फॉर्म गॅमेट्स आर नॉट फॉर्म गॅमेटोजेनेसिस डज नॉट टेक प्लेस अँड दॅट्स वाय द असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ऍज अ गॅमोजेनेसिस अ गॅमोजेनेसिस ऑर सिम्पली इट मे बी कॉल्ड ऍज अ गॅमोजेनी असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शनला अगॅमोजेनेसिस किंवा अगॅमोजेनी असं म्हणतात नावच आपल्याला सांगून जातं अ स्टँड फॉर ऍबसेंट गॅमो स्टँड फॉर गॅमेट्स जेनेसिस स्टँड फॉर फॉर्मेशन नो फॉर्मेशन ऑफ गॅमेट्स किंवा अगॅमोजेनी अर्थ तोच होतो दुसरी गोष्ट ड्युरिंग असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ड्युरिंग असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन during the growth of embryo and in all further developments in all further developments it occurs only mitotic cell division it occurs only mitosis arthat asexual reproduction chi sampurna prakriya ghadun yet astanna embryo chi vad hot astanna kiwa purchi sagli development hot astanna 
मायटॉसिस याच प्रकारचं सेल डिव्हिजन होतं मायटॉसिस यु नो इक्वेशनल डिव्हिजन आणि तुम्हाला माहित आहे की मायटॉसिस इट इज शोन बाय जनरल बॉडी सेल्स इज एंट इट सोमॅटिक सेल्स मायटॉसिस ही प्रक्रिया मायटॉसिस या प्रकारचं पेशी विभाजन हे जनरल बॉडी सेल्स मध्ये दिसतं जनरल बॉडी सेल्स मायटॉसिस दाखवतात मग या ठिकाणी इन असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ॲज इट ऑकर्स ओनली मायटॉसिस ओनली मायटॉसिस मायटॉटिक सेल डिव्हिजन जस्ट लाईक द सेल डिव्हिजन शोन बाय सोमॅटिक सेल्स जनरल बॉडी सेल्स अँड दॅट्स वाय दॅट्स वाय द असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इज ऑल्सो नोन ॲज सोमॅटोजेनिक रिप्रोडक्शन असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शनला सोमॅटोजेनिक रिप्रोडक्शन असं सुद्धा म्हणतात आय एन वी कॅन से ड्युरिंग असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन देर इज नो चान्स ऑफ जेनेटिक रिकॉम्बिनेशन देर इज नो चान्स ऑफ जेनेटिक रिकॉम्बिनेशन मीन्स वॉट देर इज नो चान्स ऑफ मिक्सिंग ऑफ जेनेटिक मटेरियल मिक्सिंग ऑफ जेनेटिक मटेरियल ऑफ टू डिफरंट पॅरेंट्स बिकॉज वी नो हिअर असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन डज नॉट इन्वॉल्व द गॅमेट्स इज एन डी अँड देर फॉर देर फॉर द न्यू यंग वन प्रोड्युस्ड रिसिव्ह एंटायर जेनेटिक मटेरियल फ्रॉम वन पॅरेंट डू अंडरस्टँड असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शनमध्ये जी नवीन अपत्य जन्माला येतील त्या अपत्यांमध्ये जे जेनेटिक मटेरियल असेल ते अर्थातच एकाच पॅरेंटकडून आलेलं असेल आणि म्हणून म्हणून या नवीन अपत्यांमध्ये सच न्यू इंडिव्हिज्युअल्स बॉर्न बाय असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन दे डज नॉट शो व्हॅरिएशन दे डज नॉट शो व्हॅरिएशन मीन्स वॉट दे डज नॉट शो एनी न्यू कॅरेक्टर एनी न्यू कॅरेक्टर दॅन देअर पॅरेंट्स नवीन अपत्य हे त्यांच्या पॅरेंट्सपेक्षा कुठलाही नवीन गुणधर्म दाखवत नाही दे डज नॉट शो व्हॅरिएशन अँड यु नो सच यंग वन्स प्रोड्युस्ड विदाउट व्हॅरिएशन आर ऑल्सो रिगार्डेड ॲज क्लोन्स we have already came across this term while studying about the reproduction in plants clones isn't it so these are some major features of asexual reproduction the asexual reproduction is shown asexual reproduction is shown by lower invertebrates lower invertebrates lower invertebrates means you know the lower non chordates means what the asexual reproduction is shown by protozoans protozoans in the sense protist asexual reproduction is seen in sponges you know sponges means the animals belonging to phylum porifera it is seen in cnidarians it is seen in worms especially flat worms and it is also seen very rarely in annelids as well as asexual reproduction is seen in tunicates it is seen in tunicates now in animals in animals the asexual reproduction takes place by five major ways first binary fission first binary fission second multiple fission multiple fission third plasmotomy fourth budding and fifth fragmentation fragmentation so now let us start the study of first method under asexual reproduction that is binary fission you know that fission this word stands for the division so meaning is very simple binary fission is the type of asexual reproduction in which parent individual parent individual 
divides into two daughter individuals. Parent individual it divides into two daughter individuals. Two daughter individuals. Now this binary fusion is shown by protozoans and in certain I will say flatworms that is planarians in planarians. Now what happens during binary fusion and as far as concern with the protozoans that first of all I am going to teach you. Now in protozoans what happens I am going to I am going to teach you the basic procedure of binary fusion in protozoans. Protozoans mode binary fusion chi prakriya kashi hote te adhi thodkyat me tumhala samjhun saamtu hai. Just imagine here is any protozoan. Kalpana kara ki haa ekhada protozoan organism ahe. This is supposed to be its nucleus. Haa te cha nucleus hai. Now in protozoans during binary fusion the duplicated chromosomes the duplicated chromosomes duplicated chromosome means what the chromosomes which have get doubled guna sutra jenchi sankhya duppad zali tuma sagle lokanna maite we have studied in 11 cell cycle madhe apan shiklelo ahot ki before mitosis or before any type of cell division what happens there is duplication of chromosome yacha artha guna sutranchi sankhya क्रोमोजोम की संख्या ही दुप्पट मैंने जे डुप्लिकेटेड क्रोमोजोम्स है गुणसूत्र जे दोन संच तैयार गुणसूत्र जे दुप्पट गेट सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम ईच अदर ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट डुप्लिकेटेड क्रोमोजोम गेट सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम ईच अदर इक्वली विद इन द न्यूक्लियस इट्स विद इन द न्यूक्लियस इट्स मीन्स Like our normal mitosis, nuclear membrane does not disappear. Upon the Akravichiklo, ki mitosis hota stanna, that he can nuclear membrane disappear hota, kendra patal nahi sota, asa kai si athi kani hot nahi, tar yathi kani kendra patal nuclear membrane tasas rahata, ani, 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 tiji guna sutra hai duplicated chromosome se, te sama pramana vibhagli zata, sama pramana vibhagli zata. अर्थात इक्वल नंबर मध्य एकमेक वेगले होता दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज इंट्रा न्यूक्लि मैटोसि इंट्रा न्यूक्लि मैटोसि इंट्रा न्यूक्लि अर्थ का न्यूक्लियस आत मध्य मैटोसि इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द क्लोज मैटोसि क्लोज मैटोसि लैटर ऑन दिस न्यूक्लि दिस न्यूक्लि इट शोज अ कॉन्स्ट्रिक्शन एट इट्स मिडल या न्यूक्लियस मध्यभागी एक फरो कि कॉन्स्ट्रिक्शन खास निर्माण होते ऑफ कोर्स इनिशियली इट अंडर गोज इलांगेशन तो केन्द्र थोड़ा लंबट होतो इलांगेट होतो एंड देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फरो अ नॉच एट द मिडल और इन बिटवीन टू सेपरेटेड सेट ऑफ क्रोमोजोम एंड देन इट इज फॉलोड बाय देन इट इज फॉलोड बाय द साइटोकाइनेसिस साइटोकाइनेसिस मीन्स द डिविजन ऑफ साइटोप्लाजम डिविजन ऑफ साइटोप्लाजम ऑफ कोर्स हियर इनिशियली द न्यूक्लियस इलांगेट्स देर इज एन एपियरस ऑफ नॉच एट द मिडल ऑफ न्यूक्लियस ड्यू टू विच द न्यूक्लियस get divided into two daughter nuclei receiving same number of chromosome and it is followed by the division of cytoplasm division of cell by appearance of furrow exactly at the middle of cell so finally this furrow it goes on deepening from both sides and cell get completely divided hence there are formation of two daughter cells so how is the basic process of binary fission in protozoan that i was telling you now this binary fission occurs in protozoans binary fission occurs by three different ways 
बायनरी फ्यूशन हे तीन वेगवेगळ्या पद्धतीने होत सच एज इरेग्युलर बायनरी फ्यूशन इरेग्युलर बायनरी फ्यूशन सेकंड लॉन्जिट्युडिनल बायनरी फ्यूशन लॉन्जिट्युडिनल बायनरी फ्यूशन एंड थर्ड ट्रांसवर्स बायनरी फ्यूशन so we have to understand these three sub types of binary fission in protozoans by considering suitable examples okay so let us start here are three sub types of binary fission let us talk briefly first irregular binary fission in protozoans i am not talking about the binary fission in planarian that i will explain you after few minutes we are talking about the types of binary fission in protozoans first irregular irregular binary fission irregular type of binary fission it is seen in amoeba it is seen in amoeba name itself indicate in irregular binary fission in irregular binary fission the amoeba or cell of amoeba it divides across any plane across any plane it means in irregular binary fission the plane of cell division is variable plane of cell division is variable yacha arth पेशी विभाजन होत असताना सेल डिव्हिजन होत असताना ड्युरिंग द डिव्हिजन ऑफ सायटोप्लाझम द प्लेन ऑफ सेल डिव्हिजन इज नॉट फिक्स्ड इट मे बी व्हर्टिकल इट मे बी ट्रान्सवर्स इट मे बी ऑब्लिक व्हॉट एव्हर इट मे बी बट द प्लेन ऑफ सेल डिव्हिजन इज ऑलवेज इज ऑलवेज ॲट राईट अँगल टू द लॉन्चिट्युडिनल or i will say elongated dividing nucleus try to understand the plane of cell division is at right angle to the elongated dividing nucleus please look at the diagram how in amoeba you know okay let us take the help of this diagram suppose here is amoeba i explained you just now initially it occurs the separation of chromosome duplicated chromosome then that nucleus undergoes elongation now here this nucleus is elongated you can see in diagram whenever it occurs the division of cytoplasm the plane of cell division is variable but i said right angle to the elongated and dividing nucleus such elongated and dividing nucleus means now in this cell the plane of cell division is like this that is right angle to the elongated dividing nucleus that's all about the irregular type of binary fission second longitudinal type of binary fission longitudinal the longitudinal type of binary fission it is seen in flagellates flagellates you know flagellates means the protozoans which show flagella say for example euglena all of you are know euglena let me draw here a brief uh, let me draw here a little diagram here is euglena you know it is unicellular organism unicellular protozoan it shows such type of two elongated flagella two hairy elongated structure now in flagellates in euglena the binary fission takes place by this way longitudinal means what in euglena the plane of cell division or plane of division of cytoplasm is longitudinal longitudinal in the sense lengthwise longitudinal is arth lengthwise lambda arth here the cell divides longitudinally leading to the formation of two daughter euglena third one is transverse transverse type of binary fission 
the transverse type of binary fission it is seen in ciliates you know ciliates means the protozoans which show presence of cilia paramecia let me draw here suppose here is a paramecium here is a cell of paramecium you know these are the cilia here is its oral group etc etc nucleus now in paramecium the plane of cell division is transverse leading to the two daughter cell so here we were discussing about the binary fission in protozoans now let me tell you the mechanism of binary fission in planarians actually planarians these are a type of flatworms suppose here is a planarian here i have drawn a diagram of planarium and it shows transverse binary fission transverse binary fission now how is the mechanism of binary fission in planarian listen this planarian is freshwater aquatic animal it is free living it is motile it swims in water but at the time of reproduction at the time of cell division at the time of binary fission the posterior end of this planarium posterior end of this planarium fixes to any substratum fixes to any substratum substratum means any object present in water paanyamadhe astlele ekhadya dardala khadkala kiwa kutlya hi vastu la tyacha je khalcha tok ahe posterior end ahe te chikatta and the anterior end varsa je tok ahe that anterior end exerts a pull exerts a pulling force on posterior end arthat he je anterior end ahe te varcha bajula khesla jata it exerts a pulling force on the posterior end obviously due to which due to which due to the stretching the middle part of its body gets stretched paryane ya thikani pulling force exert kelya mule ha jo matla bhag ahe tyacha sharirachha that middle part get stretched and there is a development of constriction there is a development of furrow at the middle of its body due to continuous stretching due to continuous stretching this furrow deepens and finally the body of that planarium get divided into two parts body of planarium get divided into two parts the planarium cha body che don bhag hota this is anterior part this is posterior part now the anterior part anterior part it regenerates the lost posterior part ha jo anterior part ahe तो त्याचा जो पोस्टेरियर पार्ट शिल्लक नाहीये किंवा डिव्हिजन मुळे नाहीसा झालाय तो त्या ठिकाणी रिजनरेट होतो त्याचं पुनर्निर्माण होत आणि हा जो पोस्टेरियर पार्ट आहे दिस पोस्टेरियर पार्ट इट रिजनरेट्स द अँटेरियर पार्ट इट रिजनरेट्स द अँटेरियर पार्ट ओके इट मीन्स फ्रॉम वन पॅरेंट प्लॅनेरियम प्लॅनेरियन देर आर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टू इंडिव्हिज्युअल्स by the process of binary fission now here in this planarian as as that two separated parts of its body regenerate the lost part and that's why in planarian in planarians the process of binary fission is also called as regeneration regeneration do you understand now we have to move to the second type of asexual reproduction that is multiple fission that is multiple fission now all of you are known the meaning of binary fission fission means division 
and binary stands for two. We have studied just now. At the binary fission, we have studied that the parent individual is the same as the two daughter individuals. We have studied that binary fission. What is the difference? Multiple fission. Multiple stands for many. It means the parent individual it divides into many small daughter individuals. Parent individual it divides into many small daughter individual. अर्थात एका individual पासुन असंख्य daughter individuals तयार होता. This multiple fission is again seen in amoeba and very common in plasmodium. You might be unaware about the plasmodium. But we will come across about plasmodium in our chapter about the health and diseases. Plasmodium <coughs> is malarial parasite, it is unicellular organism. Now, what happens during multiple fission? In multiple fission, initially, initially, that organism may be amoeba, may be plasmodium. Of course, these are uninucleated, they show single nucleus. Now, initially, initially, the nucleus of their cell, nucleus of that organism divides rapidly. It means it occurs rapid nuclear division. Fakta nucleus se vibhajan hoto. Ultimately, from one nucleus, there are formation of many daughter nuclei. Many daughter nuclei. That you can assign the daughter nuclei the cell mode tayaruta simultaneously. And after karyokinesis, after division of nucleus, after formation of many daughter nuclei, now cytoplasm divides and there are formation of many daughter cells. I am going to show diagrammatically. Is that clear? So from one cell or from one individual, many daughter individuals are formed. That's why this method is called as multiple fission. This is second method of asexual reproduction in animals. Okay. Now come to the third method that is plasmotomy. This method of asexual reproduction is very rarely seen in some protozoans. Say for example, Opelina and Pelomyxa. These are protozoans. These are unicellular organisms. These are protozoans. But these are multinucleated. Try to understand. These are multinucleated. In this type, suppose here is that unicellular opelina with many nuclei. Many nuclei. Now here, now here, the cell or that individual, body of that individual divides, divides few or many times few or many times leading to the leading to the formation of two or many daughter cell leading to the formation of two or many daughter cell now look here it occurs the division of cell but before division of cell there is no division of nuclei that is the nucleus these are multinucleated organisms, asanthya nucleus. We have to say that there is an artha nucleus. But what is the cell that we have to say? We have to say that there are few or many times. That is the cell that we have to say. And when the daughter cells are there, we have to say that there are daughter cells. Definitely, this each daughter cell shows less number of nuclei than the parent cells. This each daughter cell shows less number of nuclei than the parent cells. पेरेंट सेल पेरेंट सेल पेक्षा या डॉटर न्यूक्लियस मध्य ऑब्वियसली केन्द्र संख्या कमी है 
Now that each total cell it grows in its size and and it occurs the formation of many nuclei equal to the parent cell by nuclear division. त्या डॉटर सेल मधे जोड़े न्यूक्लियाई आहेत त्यंसाता विभाजन होते अनि पैरेंट सेल मधे जोड़े न्यूक्लियाई होते तेवड़े स्टैटिकली नवीन न्यूक्लियाई पुनः इंदा तैयार होता दिस इज क्वाइट स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ अ सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सीन वेरी रेडली इन सम प्रोटोजोन्स लाइक ओपेलिना एंड पेलोमिक्सा Budding means the formation of formation of bud on the parent individual. Formation of bud on the parent individual. Bud means small projection or small outgrowth. Small projection or small outgrowth. So parent individual tachawar. छोटा सा बर्ड तैयार होता है, बड़े चार तो आउटग्रोथ, प्रोजेक्शन तैयार होता है। दिस बर्ड और दैट आउटग्रोथ, इट ग्रोज इन इट्स साइज, इट एज्यूम्स द साइज एंड स्ट्रक्चर जस्ट लाइक द पैरेंट वन, देन इट डिटैचेस फ्रॉम द पैरेंट वन एंड लीव्स इंडिपेंडेंट लाइफ। नाउ दिस बर्डिंग इज एक्चुअली of two types such as external budding and internal budding i would like to tell you that budding it is seen in some protozoans also in some protozoans budding is seen in some protozoans budding is also seen in sponges i think spongila example you know spongila animals belonging to phyla orifera also the budding is seen in cylindrates cylindrates you know nidarians isn't it for example hydra typical example hydra it shows its asexual reproduction by budding i told you budding means what there is a formation of small bud, small outgrowth, small projection on the body of parent individual. The parent individual is such a shell or lungs of bud outgrowth. They are hot. And that bud grows in its size, assumes the shape, size, structure, just like the parent one. The bud is wide hot. Parent individual pramane. Ani nantar to bud ha. पैरेंट इंडिविजुअल पास उन डिटैच हो तो सेपरेट हो तो अरे तो तेरे तो स्वतंत्र आयुष्य हाथ जरूरत है तो एस न्यू इंडिविजुअल आई सेड दैट द बॉडी इज बेसिकली ऑफ अगेन टू टाइप्स दैट इज एक्सटर्नल बॉडी एंड इंटरनल बॉडी एक्सटर्नल बॉडी एंड इंटरनल बॉडी नेम इट्स अ External body means formation of bud along the outer surface of body of parent individual. Formation of bud along the outer surface of body of individual. A very typically we can say in hydra. Let me explain you. We have studied about the hydra. You know hydra. It belongs to phylum Cylindrata. It is aquatic animal, sedentary animal, isn't it? Its body is somewhat like this, cylindrical. Here is a mouth and you know this mouth is encircled by such tentacles, finger-like projections, you know, tentacles. Now in Hydra, in Hydra, there is a formation of small bud, small outgrowth along the outer surface of body this is the bud this bud it grows in its size it grows in its size finally there is a formation of mouth and small tentacles around the mouth so it assumes the structure somewhat like the 
parent individual now as it detaches from the parent individual it lives independent life means <clears throat> there is a formation of new individual now here you might have understood the bud is formed along the outer surface of body of the parent therefore it is called as external budding but internal budding name itself indicates internal means the bud is formed within the body of parent individual it is seen in spongila within the body of spongila some specialized cells called as archeocytes some specialized cells archeocytes are grouped together just imagine these are many specialized cells that is archeocytes all these are the archeocytes just imagine there is a formation of group or mass of archeocytes and it is surrounded by a tough protective coat made up of made up of calcareous spicules calcareous spicules means these are small tiny a pointed structure uh, made up of calcium carbonate calcareous spicules and now this structure form this structure form enclosing archeocytes and surrounded protected by a capsule of calcareous spicule is known as internal bud internal bud or gemule it is called gemule now when this gemule when this gemule is given out of the body of that spongila that parent individual this gemule can survive for a long time in adverse conditions also though all the environmental conditions are not favorable in such environment in such adverse environmental conditions also this gemule can survive and at the return of favorable condition at the return of favorable condition the gemule it grows into new individual arthat manunas ya internal budding la ya thikani gemule formation asa suddha matla jato it is also known as gemule formation the gemule formation manta now let us talk about the last method of asexual reproduction in animals that is fragmentation fragmentation means simply it is the division or breaking down of parent body breaking down of parent body say this fragmentation is mostly seen in flatworm flatworm microstoma of course it is aquatic animal microstoma in this microstoma the body is flat somewhat like this and the body of this flatworm microstoma can be divided can break off due to such different physical or chemical factors the body of body of this individual can be divided into many fragments into many fragments okay mind well don't get confused between the regeneration and fragmentation we have studied regeneration that is the binary fission in planarium is not fragmentation though it looks like the fragmentation because that regeneration shown by planarium actively okay and here the fragmentation fragmentation it is not carried out by this animal actively it occurs due to the effect of certain external factor and that each 
part that each piece of its body it grows into the new individual so here we have studied about the different methods of asexual reproduction in animals that's all about the asexual methods of reproduction in animals in our next lecture we shall study about the sexual reproduction we shall start the study of sexual reproduction in animals of course in that topic we people have to study about the human reproduction that is the major part of this chapter okay so let us stop here today thank you